main different strands. We've got the BTEC Performing Arts Acting course. The skill set base for this course is designed as a vocational course. So we are literally training performers in order to move on to their next step in education, usually to drama schools. Um, in terms of individual skills in this course, it's very much about the performer, so obvious physical, obvious vocal. Um, and then directorial as well, the ability to direct pieces, their ability to work as a team, self-manage, um, a lot of self-awareness in this course. The other course is the Drama and Theatre Studies AS and A2. Um, both these courses are a theoretical application of the practical. Although we do the practical work, we take a theoretical approach, so we do a lot more study of text and style and genre. Um, the greatest ability that any actor can have is to be able to critically evaluate themselves and others uh, in order to improve them. So we spend a lot of time on those courses looking at how do we develop and improve. Aujourd'hui, je pense qu'il est très clair, surtout en Grande-Bretagne, que les personnes qui choisissent d'étudier les langues se mettent dans un marché euh, vraiment euh, très, euh, très restreint parce que, euh, bien sûr, euh, il y a de moins en moins de personnes en Grande-Bretagne qui, euh, qui parlent des, des, euh, des langues euh, étrangères, ce qui est formidable parce que les opportunités seront incroyables. Si vous apprenez une langue étrangère, vous allez pouvoir voyager, vous allez pouvoir ajouter quelque chose de vraiment spécial sur votre CV et vous allez offrir quelque chose que d'autres personnes ne pourront pas offrir. What I think one thing it definitely does for you is that it kind of takes you to another world. So if you're learning French, you can perceive other things from that language and obviously because the structure is different, you get to know because I do French and German, so I can see things differently from grammatical points of views as well and it's really interesting to look into that. They gain eloquence, they gain accuracy, they gain the ability to read between the lines and to infer, to construct an argument, to become confident in their own opinions and in expressing themselves. I find them okay. Uh, like the coursework and the exams aren't like that bad. Um, my courses broke up into 60% exam and 40% coursework. So it's quite nice how I personally don't do too well in exams. I prefer coursework, so that's sort of a nice even split. But I do find that this year, especially in my second year, it's your four pieces of coursework, um, which sounds like a lot, but when you actually break it down, it's really not that hard. And like I said, Karen like, will support you so much if you need it, or just any English teacher. And then you have one exam, and one exam only, and it's two hours. So it's like, okay, and it's sort of like, you're constantly doing exam prep and coursework prep throughout the year. So I find it's like quite a balance as a pack, like some other A-levels because it's 60-40.